Hello my friends, this is Mohsen from the MKR Developer Channel. Without any explanation, let's make a flashlight app together. For this, in the drawable file, uh, I have two photos. One of them as the uh, flashlight off and the other one as the flashlight on. So feel free to copy them from the resource codes and I will put the link down below in the description. In the main activity layout, I have a text view. I don't need it. I'm going to change it to image view. And then uh, here, I don't need this text. I'm changing to flashlight off as the default. Okay. Here, match parent and match parent. Okay, and here we need a background. It can be color gray. I've added this color into the resources. Here I have it, and if you want, you can copy this color code from here. Okay. What else do we need uh, in the project section into the... Let's start with the manifest. Okay. We need the permission of the camera because uh, the flashlight is sub-branch of the camera. Okay. And then we have to check if the permission is granted or not. So for... Checking the permission, I'm going to use Dexter library. For this, we have to add the dependency here. And uh, don't worry, I will put the link into the description and you can check it out. Okay, and let me update this as well and pressing sync now. If you want to write it by the hand, you can do it from here. Okay, the build is done. Now I'm going to use the view binding also, so let's do it right now. If you don't know how to use uh, view binding, you can click on this link and watch the video about it. Okay, the sync is done. We are ready to start writing the codes okay first let's start with the view binding so late in its variable binding uh, activity main binding and uh, here equals to activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator and here binding dot root that's all for view binding and here i need two variables uh let's say three variables i'm going to write them so first of all private uh, variable torch state uh, with a type of boolean and let's 
how it falls at the beginning then private latent variable camera manager with a type of camera manager and then I need private var camera ID the type will be a string and the default value zero okay all set uh, let me check okay I need an ID here for this here first of all we have to check the permission so i'm going to write the codes to check the permission uh, so dexter dot with context this and dot with permission Android dot manifest dot uh, permission dot camera. Okay, and then dot with listener in here in it object. Uh, object of permission listener is here Now I'm clicking on the object, implementing the members. Okay, it's here. Uh, on permission granted, so when the user the grants the permission, so we have to go further. I'm going to write a function here. Turn on Turn on flashlight And I'm going to create this function here into the main activity here Later we will come back to it uh, On permission denied We have to uh, write a toast To tell the user uh, that we need this permission okay and here uh p1 dot continue permission request so when once the uh, user uh, rejected the granting permission and next time again this uh, whole uh, procedure will be executed and at the end we need dot check if you don't write this nothing will happen so uh, after the permission is granted we have to go to this function and turn the flashlight on so for this 
we need the set and click listener for the uh, image torch. Okay. Uh, when the uh, user uh, touch the screen, uh, this function will be executed. So we have to check if the flashlight is already on or off. So the state uh, of this uh, variable that we have created here matters now. We will check it. Torch state. And based on this state, we will write the cost. So first of all, if it's false, that means that uh, the torch is off already. We have to turn it on. So the camera manager dot uh, set torch mode then we have to pass the camera id and uh, true that makes the torch on and then binding dot image torch dot set image resource we have to change the image of the image view R dot uh, drawable dot flashlight on and then we have to change the state torch state equals to true and uh, the same for the false I'm going to Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And sorry for the true. Uh, true. This one will be changed to false to turn off the light. This one off. And this one false. Okay. Uh, we can take out these two uh, line of code. Just like this. Yeah. So torch state is equal to true or false. Then uh, this uh, situation is granted. And uh, I think I forgot to uh, initialize the camera manager. Let's do it here on the top. In the on create after binding. Okay. So, uh, camera manager equals to get uh, system service and uh, we have to write the context dot camera service uh, as the camera manager. Okay, and remember this context should be with the capital C and the uh, camera ID equals to uh, camera manager dot camera ID list and from this list the first one which will be the number zero because uh, the list uh, are starting with the uh, number zero and all set uh, let's check it on the physical device okay the app is now installed and you can see it's asking asking for the permission i am going to grant the permission it's done and the flashlight is on and off on and off 
just like this you can see the light in my face okay okay and that was everything about the flashlight application that was so simple and so easy uh, if you had any question about this uh, dexter library and getting the permission write down below in the comment section and uh, if uh, the requests were too much i will make a video exactly about this uh, permission taking uh, using this dexter library thank you for your support please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already and give me a thumbs up to help this video be watched with more people thank you for your time bye bye